Is it really in you to give? Not if you're considered a high-risk donor by Canadian Blood Services. And when my own blood was rejected for donation, I had to go to the CBS headquarters to find out why. Okay, so there are many reasons a donation would be rejected. So let's have a look at your application. Of course, yeah. As, as I'm, I'm sure you're aware of my work, I included the time that I traded leeches with my segment producer, the uh, 2014 raccoon bite, and last year's on-camera uh, testicle piercing got awry. Was any of that flagged? Given the timing of those activities, they are all acceptable risks. Oh, and I, I also shared needles with a chimp for a uh, segment on primate fentanyl addiction. Mm -hmm. Also fine. Really? Yeah. Okay, uh, then wh why was I rejected? Ah, well, you told us that you had sex with a man in the last year. Yep. And it's the position of Canadian Blood Services to not allow sexually active gay men. Or fluid, I should just, I should point that out to my female viewers. To donate blood. Cool, okay, so what you're saying then is, is that they need to be in a monogamous relationship. No, they need to have not had sex with anyone. Unless it's a woman. What if it's like really like boring sex. Mm, not even. What if they just watched? That's fine. What if they wrestled the naked man like the ancient Greeks used to do? Sure. And what if like while wrestling said naked man, it slipped in for a second? No. Nope. Just the tip. Not even. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the reason for this is that you assume that gay men have a higher exposure to HIV. No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with HIV. There's a very simple test for it and all donations are screened for it anyway. Okay. Then why? Simple. It's the belief of Canadian Blood Services that giving recipients the gay blood will in fact turn them gay. Mm. Yeah. And where did you go to medical school? It's a country that no longer exists. Uh, Southeast Timor. Can I get that back? Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't believe what I had heard from Dr. Thornbury, but he did assure me that they were making progress. After all, they recently cut down the ban on sexually active gay men from five years to one year after they determined that it only takes 300 days for gay blood cells to die out. For the Beaverton, Donovan Stinson, signing off.